Hey everyone, I'm Charlotte and this is The Daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition for women over 40. Today I've got a really big Walmart haul. I found a lot of really great pieces and I think you're gonna love it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please feel free to subscribe because it's free and all you have to do is hit the little button. Hit that like button because it really does help my channel and hit the bell notification so you never miss another upcoming video. I do these Walmart hauls each and every week as well as throw in a couple of other types of videos. So it would behoove you to subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. The first outfit I have is just, I mean, the pants are a winner. Let me just tell you, these are free assembly and these are size zero. I showed these to you in a size two last week, blue jeans. There's no distressing in these, just very classic and considered skinny. And these are mid-rise, so I'm so happy to see some mid-rise coming back. Um, I just feel like everything is kind of high rise right now, so when I find a mid rise, it is my favorite cut of jean. But I have these beautiful skinny jeans, mid rise skinny jeans on, uh, with these time and true booties. I have them in several colors. These just happen to go with my earrings to pull it together, so I'll show you those in a moment. But really, really cute look. Now, this is a Sofia Vergara sweater, size small. It looks like it's kind of cut right through here. You kind of have to wear it to where it's pulled back a little bit so that that bra matches up with your bra. So that's the only kind of downfall that I'm seeing with this top. This is a size small. And the coloring of it is kind of a, uh, a little darker than a watermelon. This is kind of a boat neck. And then these are really nice long cuffs ribbed cuffs and I love that. So this is a really cute top. It is a pop of color and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the back now. So you'd either have to wear, this is just my normal bra. I can't say enough good things about these jeans. These are free assembly and they're just so classic, you guys. These are really, really pretty jeans. They're gonna be paired with a lot of the different blouses and you know, sweaters and different things that I have today. Uh, these are kind of the star of the show. I love these jeans, you should check them out. They're not overly stretchy. These jeans are really nice and soft. They have some weight to them and um, they are to your ankle. There's no distressing whatsoever. They are a little bit hard to get kind of over your heel. So there's no stretch at the bottom. Do you know what I mean? So you kind of have to pull them on um, past your heel, but that's probably the only bad thing I have to say about them and that's not really a bad thing. It's just something worth mentioning. So I didn't want you to think that these were too tight around your leg. That's not the issue. It's that this is a little bit tight, so it's a little hard to get it over your heel. But these are so cute. I don't know if the quality is coming through, but these jeans, really, really good. I'm telling you, I'm loving Free Assembly. The line Free Assembly from Walmart has been just amazing. Amazing quality, great style, terrific fit, and this is, I mean, this sweater is just so cute. There are other colors in this particular sweater. This is a size small, free assembly. There's a collar on this with a V-neck and there's a little bit of a pop sleeve here. Not too much, cause you know, I don't like that look on me. So it's not too much of a pop sleeve. There's a little bit of a balloon here with a little tiny rib cuff. So this is about a three quarter sleeve and the balloon isn't too balloony. So I can manage that because you know, it doesn't look great on me to have those really big balloon sleeves, but I'm loving the cut of this sweater. It looks so classy. It's a really soft and thick. It's kind of a thick kind of a sweater. So, and I have that paired with these same free assembly jeans. I did go ahead and put a tan belt on because it defines my waist a little bit, you know? And then I kept those same boots on. So if you're thinking about purchasing a pair of dark colored jeans, these are the jeans you should try. These jeans are so good. But I do wanna show you that it is more of a cropped kind of sweater, not cropped to where it comes up unless you're a long torso, it might come up on you a little bit. This is one of my favorite sweaters, I just have to tell you, and I think I'm gonna go online and purchase the other colors. I think they have two other colors. Uh, really cute, really, really flattering. I really love it. I think it's really pretty and classy looking, so tell me what you think. All right, it looks like I ordered another one of these as well. So this is the, a, another free assembly. I already kind of went over how it fits, but you might be able to see it just a little bit better since it's in a color. And I kept these jeans on. These are the free assembly um, high-rise skinny jeans that fit like a mid-rise. And then I put these 
tie my true booties back on. I think it looks really great together. And I'm really happy that I was able to show you both colors. Love the collar on this. And the color is really pretty, very fall. And you can certainly tuck this in a little bit and then wear a belt as well with this too. I wanted to show you these earrings too. So these earrings, I wasn't able to link. I had them on in like one of my Trendsend videos and somebody mentioned them and I tried to link them and I thought I did, but then I went to the link and it said like, uh-oh, like you can't link these. But they're like really inexpensive and you can find them in your local Walmart probably. So I really love them. They're so lightweight that it doesn't really feel like you have much on at all. Very lightweight and just pretty, really pretty. And then I have this. I've showed this to you before. This is a magnetic animal print bracelet. It's kind of a layering bracelet, just one piece, very lightweight. So this is like, I don't know what this is made out of, but it's very lightweight. It's got a magnetic clip and I purchased that in that set of like 25 earrings and then it came with the bracelet on Amazon. So I'll link that as well if you're interested. Um, keep the pants on, the belt, the shoes, just to show you this sweater, it is a, um, shorter sleeve sweater, but it's definitely a nice kind of quality, kind of elevated type of sweater. So it's a V-neck, it does button down, and the buttons do work. This is a size small, and it's a thicker material. So it's definitely, it's got a little bit of a pop sleeve here, and it does kind of hug your arm here loosely, and it has some ribbing right through there. But really, really pretty, these buttons are just small and black, and um, I paired these again with these jeans just to kind of show you another option. These sweaters I think are just amazing. And this sweater is also free assembly. So again, this is more of a cropped sweater. It, it's not overly long. Uh, these are mid-rise jeans and my torso is on the verge of being short, but it really falls at a nice length right here and I always think it's nice to kind of give it a little bit of a front tuck. Right. I purchased this apparently in a couple of colors. So I already showed you the black one and now I'm going to show you the red one. I think it's so pretty. I was thinking to myself, this might be what I'm going to wear for family Christmas pictures this year. I love these sweaters. So this is a free assembly. I showed it to you already, a V-neck, and it kind of feels like it's a little bit of a pop sleeve, but to be honest with you, I don't know that it's a pop sleeve. It just kind of appears that way, and then it kind of has a little ribbing here. You might be able to see it a little better that this one is red. Um, and then, you know, it buttons down, but it fits really nice, and these are size small. This is a size small. These pants, I just showed them to you in black. These are a size zero. So these pants that I just per that just came in the mail are a size zero. So I think I have these pants in a size two that I showed you last week. So these are a little snugger. In fact, they feel a little snugger in <laughs> snugger in this dark blue, a little more snug than these black ones. So this says free assembly, the high rise skinny. So I'm calling them skinny jeans and I keep calling them mid rise because, and these are a size zero and the ones that I have on are size zero. These on me fit more like a mid rise jean. So I'm just telling you that they say high rise, but I, I here I keep on telling you guys about these mid rise jeans that I found and they fit me like a mid rise. So I'm hoping that that helps out. I'm going to go ahead and back up and show you these jeans. They are in a size zero. They are the darker blue and I just um, I have my same black time and true booties on but let me go ahead and show you what this looks like these are the best jeans like I said these are a little more snug it's funny because they're the same jean but possibly different material if you if you will you know the black jeans are a little different than these so that might be the reason why they're fitting a little looser but I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you So I'm gonna link all of these things in my description box below, but they are labeled high rise. I'm just telling you that. And they don't feel like high rise jeans. And I don't know if that's because of where the waist is and then the pocket ratio, I'm not sure. 
different measurements maybe. You might have to measure your gene to where you find out whether it's high rise on you or not, but these don't feel like high rise genes. That's why I thought they were mid rise. But I wanted to let you know. Right. Um, it's so funny, I'm like out of breath because <laughs> I like put everything on and then like I'm like, and this is a, like a really long video. So I'm gonna try to cut it back wherever I can. So this is another top, I just had to show it to you. Same kind of sweater, so I guess I bought three of these. I went ahead and paired these with my size two high rise skinny jeans. And I love the fit of the two in the blue jeans. So I would definitely size up where your your larger size in the blue ones. Okay, so I'm going to back up and show you the outfit. So I went ahead and paired these with my time and true snake print booties. I think it's really cute. It's kind of like you know, um, business and maybe prim and proper. And then you have, well, these boots. They kind of think it's fun. So and I do have that belt on that I told you about that came in the two pack on Amazon. It's more of a cream color, so it really matches this sweater. This sweater is more of a cream color sweater. I hope you can see the color of the sweater. And it still has the buttons up and down. These are great sweaters. They are really, really pretty sweaters. All right, I love this look. This is so cute. These are the black jeans that I just showed you for assembly. Same boots, same belt. I did pair this with that. Um, you know that bodysuit that I told you about? Um, just a really nice bodysuit. This one is perfect. It's kind of like a tummy control bodysuit and I love it. This is that scoop jacket that I showed you recently. These are the earrings from Time and True that I think are just adorable. And then I just think this outfit in general looks really nice together. You probably wear something like this for a Friday work day. Um, so we'll call this a work outfit. You know, denim or jeans on Fridays and this would probably work really well. I can't say for sure, I don't work in an office, but I'm thinking that this is probably work appropriate. So I'm showing you just how versatile these black free assembly jeans are. If I haven't already mentioned it or it hasn't come across, I am a huge fan of these jeans. <laughs> just saying. So this is a really cute free assembly flannel. Now, this isn't your everyday flannel. It's almost like a shacket. So it is a thicker flannel that I found in the men's department. This is a size small. Love the coloring on it. And I went ahead and changed that out to, I changed my shoes out to some combat boots. I think that this is a really cute look. You certainly could, you know, undo the buttons here. There's two buttons here that you can work with. Like I said, this is a real thick fabric. So this is gonna keep you warm. This is more of a shacket to add a little style to it. This is just a really cute winter, fall, winter kind of um, outfit. All right, I'm gonna call this a work outfit, but I'm not exactly sure where you work. So I don't really know if some of these things are appropriate, but these are kind of things that I would think that would be appropriate for an office setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up and show you this really cute outfit. This feels like a straight polyester kind of top, but I love all the ruffle detail. Certainly hope you can see it. There's a big ruffle here on the top, and then on the arms, there's like a couple of layers of ruffles. So really cute, and it doesn't get in your way. So it's, it's short enough when you lift your arms that it doesn't really get in your way. Do you know what I mean? I um, think it's really cute. This is in a size small. And this is Scoot brand. I think it is adorable. Now this skirt I tried on before, but in a different pattern. This just feels a little better than the other skirt. I don't know if it's because, you know, it looks like a richer color. I'm not sure why I feel like this is a different quality skirt than the one that I showed you previously. Um, this is a really beautiful skirt. The front and the back, they kind of dip a little bit and it's kind of a flowy, kind of silky-like um, type of skirt, which I think is really cute. And, you know, it just has a piece of elastic on the top. So again, this is probably not the best quality of a skirt, but I think it's really cute. I do have these paired with a black pair of time and true booties. 
and I think it goes really well. You could definitely wear some pumps with this. I actually put a pair of pumps on and I preferred the booties with this. So it's totally up to you, just show, giving you some options. But let me go ahead and untuck this blouse and show you that there's two, sl there's two slits on the sides. It does have a little key button closure in the back that I was able to fasten this time. Tell me what you think of this outfit. Would you wear this outfit to work? Let me show you these earrings that I have on. These are from Walmart and time and true, they're really, really pretty and they kind of bring out the off-white or cream color in the skirt. This is a time and true dress and it's really, it's really cute. It's kind of a tiered dress, but it's almost like a corduroy and it's not real, real heavy. I love the cutout here. So it's kind of a crew neck with a V-neck and I love that. Now it has a a little band here with a button closure and I wanted to go ahead and button that and show you the length of it but I also wanted to give it a little roll and show you what that was like as well it was really difficult for me to get this side with the button <laughs> so I do have these same earrings on So I have this dress paired with my time and true bone colored booties to kind of tie this outfit together I went ahead and paired it with these same earrings you could definitely wear some riding boots with this dress I think it's really cute it's really different and the first time I tried it on I have to tell you I really wasn't a fan and then of course once I kind of put it together it made more sense so it's really cute it's not too short I'm five five and a half and it does come just above my knee don't know if this would be work appropriate or not but this is certainly a cute fall dress that you could wear you know you could do different things to it you could actually wear some leggings underneath it or you could wear some riding boots but i want to show you these with just a pair of booties you could also switch it out for some black booties or go a little crazy with the booties and wear some snakeskin booties i love the color this is kind of a wine color really pretty i did purchase this in an extra small so in case you want to know i think they would run a little bit big um, I feel like a, a belt would kind of cut right in the middle of those tiers. And just don't know if that would be a great look. You could definitely try it. This is what it looks like cinched up. Um, maybe not so bad, um, but I think that it's meant to kind of just fall here so that you could see all of the tiers in the dress. Right, I wanted to show you another dress. So the funny thing is, is I went to pick up my kiddos from school and when I got home, I had some more Walmart stuff on the porch and I was able to incorporate that with what I'm showing you today. So this dress has not been steamed and I typically don't steam things that I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep just because I don't want to, you know, adding water to the fabric and stuff like that. So just to keep in mind that this dress has not been steamed. This is a size small, another free assembly dress. However, it fits me a little strange and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I love the pattern and it feels like it's a polyester, very light, uh, fabric and the sleeves are a bit puffed with a little elastic around the arm here that doesn't feel very tight but this is what I mean about it's it, it hasn't been steamed it just wants to sit up like that so there's like a ruffling around the neck just like this and it is kind of a v-neck but let me back up and show you so I did pair this dress with uh, my pumps from Amazon I love these pumps the problem I have with this dress very cute size small is that it does fit like a tent so if you have a larger bust then it's not really gonna fall right so you know I would say wear a belt but I feel like the belt would be a little bit too high so for that reason I won't be keeping this dress it's kind of a mini dress it goes past the knees I just don't like the fact that when I turn to the side it just pops out right here I just don't like that little flowers really pretty I went ahead and threw my Amazon belt on you know it doesn't look half bad there's no pockets in the dress and I was able to cinch it in with a little tiny skinny belt here you guys have to tell me what you think I won't be keeping it still. I just wanted to show you guys what it could look like with a little thin skinny belt and it does do the trick. It does cinch it in. 
So it's definitely possible to cinch it in if you like this style of dress. Here are the little Amazon belts. I know this is a Walmart video, but just in case you ever need to cinch something in and you don't want something too crazy, this is a really nice quality Amazon belt. It comes in a pack of, I think I, I bought a black one and a white one together. Basically, to make it bigger, you just, you just pull it like that. You can make it smaller, pull it like this. You can make it bigger. So it's it's a really neat belt and you know it's not a bulky belt and the way it clasps is really nice because it's got these little gold colored clasps and you just press on one end and then you feed that through and it makes for a really pretty belt it's a really pretty jumpsuit but i might have to have it altered if i decide to keep it however the fabric is so well made. I mean, like the fabric is nice and thick and it's well made. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up and show it to you. This is the jumper and I think it could be work appropriate. It's got pockets. I have it on with some pumps. It has a sash tie. The only thing about it is, this is a size small. If you size down, I read on some of the reviews that if you size down, it becomes shorter. So I, that's why I took a small, because I do think I could have worn an extra small. I just think I wanted the length to be there. The color is beautiful. It's like a navy blue, and it looks really pretty like in the sunshine. Like I've got my window here. Um, the thing is, is that it, it starts to get a little low. So for me, if I kept it, I would have to get it altered. And by doing that, I would just basically go in and get, you know, the top taken up. Even then, I don't know that this is work appropriate. I mean, that is pretty deep. That, that V is pretty deep. But I did want to show you this outfit. It's free assembly. See if I can kind of pull this up a little bit and show you. Um, you could wear like a little camisole under it if you'd like. Anyway, um, let me know what you think about this. This is probably not a keeper. And I don't know that this is office appropriate. But, you know. You may want to take a look at it. All right, this is really cute. Uh, this reminds me of like somebody on the tarmac with the, the little light up wands, you know, directing the planes. I love the color and I love the cut. I love the comfort of it. Um, let me just back up and show you. This is another free assembly, it's a size small. You know, you can definitely cinch the waist as I have. I've cinched the waist and there are pockets. And I did pair these with my little time and true suede wedges that I just happen to love. And then what I did do to the bottom of these is I went ahead and rolled, I cuffed them because I did want them to fit more cropped so that you could see the booties, but you could definitely um, not crop the, the pants at all. I will uncuff and show you the length of it. This is kind of a soft cotton and this cuff is it's just tacked on each side. And um, let me roll one down and show you. You could wear this outfit with tennis shoes as well as flats. So that's how long it is. I'm five, five and a half. I'll leave my measurements in the description box. But what you do here is, let me show you. It's, it's, these are working buttons and they button down to like pass the elastic here on the waist. So I'm gonna untie it and then I'm gonna show you how much you can cinch it up. So this is a small and then I'm gonna go ahead and tie it and show you the cinching it goes just like this. I want to tell you that this is kind of just a cute casual little little shirt. It kind of goes three quarters and these are those same pants. You know these pants from No Boundaries. So this time I didn't roll them and they do come at a really good length. I didn't even know they look so cute unrolled. So the, I'm five, five and a half and these are high waisted mom jeans and they just come at a really good length. And then I have these on with my time and true sneakers. This is a free assembly as I would have sized up. This is a extra small top and I'm noticing that it's grabbing a little in the bust area. So I do have to kind of adjust it, if you know what I mean. It does have, um, it's kind of a shorter top and it has a little, a little slit on each side. And like I said, short arms, like three fourths, three quarters sleeves. And then it has a boat neck. So it's really cute, really, um, you know, uh, definitely very casual and you know you could front tuck this. This is really cute.
Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you found a couple of pieces. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I would love for you to join us around here and hit that like button if you like videos like this one because it kind of helps my channel. Uh, you guys, it's always a pleasure to hear from you guys in the comments, so remember to comment below and um, until next time, God bless you.